Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. And tonight we are doing from Wicked Weed Brewing, S'mores Stout. It's an imperial stout with chocolate, marshmallows, and graham crackers. It's a s'mores liquid form in a glass. This one's courtesy of Brian, not this Brian, off camera Brian who's drinking with us tonight. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. And uh, let's get into it. This right. is a, did I say 9.8% ABV uh, beer, no IBUs given. So, it almost pours like a dark soda. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty carbonated for a stout. Yeah. I mean, it's a little, you see a little bit of brown through mm -hmm. the glass there, not much head, holds it a little bit, creamy white. All right, let's get the nose. Mm. I get a lot of. I get big vanilla. Sweet chocolate and vanilla. Yeah, big vanilla then chocolate. Mm. I kind of get the reverse, but yeah, those are the two predominating aromas on the nose. It smells wonderful. Mm. Don't really get the graham cracker, but maybe we'll taste it. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Oh, that's wonderful. Mm, that is good. Hmm. I would say that's the s'mores. Yeah, it tastes like a s'mores. Um, mm. Nice chocolate, sweet chocolate, hint of roastiness, big vanilla, a little bit of cracker in this there. I mean, a little bit, and it's sweet. It is sweet. Uh, Very mouth sweet. feels uh, silky. I mean, it's not, it's yeah, it's little, pretty thin. Little thin. Thin uh, first out. But first out. Still good. Mm. I wonder if they did a barrel aged version of this. That would mm. be awesome. And like you said, carbonated, it almost has that kind of soda, mm. uh, you know, Coke like, it does. like feel. Um, but yeah, really good, really sweet, uh, nice vanilla. The chocolate really stands out. I, oh, I wasn't huge. expecting that. It's huge. Just a hint of roastiness, but mostly sweet chocolate. Yeah. And it's, it's not like over roasty. I mean, it's mm. just a little roastiness, just enough to make you think it was held over a fire. Mm. Now, this is really good, Brian. Thanks Hell for over this. fire. I like that. <laughs> I like a s'more. I like a s'mores. Not like burnt to a crisp marshmallow. Right. Just right. Although that's set it on fire do. and then blow it out real quick. Right. That's what our kids do. Yeah. You know, they burn it really quick and it's black by the time it's done. But no, this is just a hint of roastiness. But the chocolate, I think to me the vanilla stood out as the first on the nose, mm. but then the chocolate stands out on the flavor. But I love this. This is really good, really sweet. Um, Desserty. Uh, if I, you know, my main critique is the mouthfeel. It's a, it's a little right. thin. And you can see, looking at the edge of the glass too, it, it's just not as dark. I, if they said this was a porter, it'd probably pass for more of a mm -hmm. porter than a stout. But mm -hmm. but this is my style of stout. It's sweet. Oh, yeah. It's uh, love a sweet stout. Yeah, it's desserty. I like this much better than you know the big bitter Russian imperial stout. So um, I'm kind of between a four two five and a four five on this. I'm going to go with a 425. I think it's good. I, th yeah. I think uh, if it was thicker, the mouthfeel was just yeah. a, a little bit more, um, it would bump it up a little bit more, but it's still really good. Yeah, We're, I'll probably give it a 425 as well, but if I had to give it a number, it would be more like a 433. It's a 425 plus for me. Mm. Uh, I definitely searched this out. This is definitely one to get. I, I would drink more of it. It's got a cool little design on the side of the can there, uh, if you can see that. I don't know if it's the lights getting it, but anyway, um, wonderful. Thanks again, Brian. Can't wait to finish this one up. Anything else? No. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.